It's been a while since we've done an update. I've been in Norway and England and all over the place. You've seen it. It's been about three weeks since our last update. Our builders are flying. And maybe so this great. is just a part where the home building process goes fast, but I don't think so. I think like five weeks in, your house shouldn't look like a house. Yeah. Here come the updates. Let's do house tour number three or four. I think this is number four. Let's go. And we so the first thing that you probably noticed is we have these beautiful windows on the upper level. Now, like we said two videos ago. It's a single story house though. Single level home makes sense. It's not a two story, it's really a one story, but we have these giant windows and like look at the entryway. Here's the front door, there's the window and the ceiling is gonna go all the way up that way so we have natural light going in. I had no idea it was gonna be this pretty. Wait, I thought you designed this house. I did, but I, like. This roof was not on last time and now not only do we have the roof, we have the HVAC going in. They're working on HVAC, electricity, plumbing right now. There's a lot of things that have to happen once you get the wood frame up that are all the internals or what's inside of your house. That's what they're working on right now. But I did tell you that it was a one story house, but it's not entirely true. I told you that we wanted to have high ceilings. Well, when you have high ceilings, you have a lot of pitch in the roof. And when you have a lot of pitch, there's things you can do with that space. The dog's so excited to show us. She gets a little nervous up there. So imagine a pool table right here that we may or may not get. And imagine a bunch of toys over there. Bunch of toys over here. Bunk beds on that side possibly. This is another area that we didn't really plan on but there was room with the trusses the way that they are shaped. And so we just made this random room right here. And check it out, it's just this room with no windows. Imagine walls all along here. Down below is the laundry room. The master bedroom is right beyond there. It's kind of fun to have an upstairs area and we really wanted to have a place for friends and family to stay when they come in town. Garage, 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 garage. And the, and the garage even has a, where are you going dog? Oh, she, I let her off the leash and she just ran down the street. I had to go chase after her. Look, she just wants to go out there. Oh, just another thing Okay, to take her on a walk, Lincoln. Bye. Another thing to Bye. Come back someday. This is the biggest garage window you've ever seen in your life. What was the thinking was behind this garage window? It, I would. Flying cars, we're preparing for the oh. future. That's where the flying cars are gonna come in through. That so nice. that's the garage. And where are we gonna put the Tesla chargers? Well, I'm thinking one right here, one right there, and one right there. Are we going to be bringing the ceiling down at all or will the sheetrock go like right up to that? Yeah, it'll go right up to that. Even the guest room will have this window up there with the really high ceiling. This is the one guest room. Lincoln's bedroom right here will have these really tall pitched ceilings. Look at the ceilings in Lincoln's bedroom. They are really high pitched, just like his voice used to be. Look, look at this. That's a big closet. That's like the size of a bedroom. Wow, huge. It's a monster in my room. This is Elon. A monster? It's gonna suck you up. Yeah. It's an alien thing and it flicks you into outer space. Oh, like, yeah, look at that. Wait, Dad, Dad, Dad. Wow. Stop the video for a second. Okay. So, I'm gonna do this and then you're gonna turn off the camera for a second and then I'm gonna run. Okay. And what? then like, do like those effect things that makes it look like you got. Do that, okay? So, uh, wait, explain. so it's gonna be like, you're gonna do what? I'm gonna come right here and then you're gonna stop the camera for a second then I'm gonna run and then make it look like that there's like, like, like you've okay. been sucked up. Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. But like caught, like, okay. and like litter too. Okay, deal. Okay, um, here we go. Pause, pause, pause. Oh wait, I was walking, it's not gonna work as well. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Oh wait, you didn't jump up, you went, you jumped to the side. Sorry. Yeah. Oh look at this. Look at these little pipes right here. This is a unique transport thing so that London can go all the way to her mama's room. No, to get to Cotton Candy Land. All right, go to Cotton Candy Land, London. Yeah, go ahead and run. Good job, London, that was great. Then this is where uh, I did the spray paint on the walls. Okay. I told you. All right, Claire, your room. Tell us about your room. Nice. I think all the ceilings are 
10 or 11 feet. Oh, here's the outdoor space. Look at this. We have the really high ceiling that's like pitched and beautiful. So this is the one part of the side of the house where you can like walk out of, but look at that. See how high those ceilings are? That's nice. Okay, and now for the office reveal. The office slash pool house. I love this one. Oh, look, we got company. Something happened because Lincoln said, don't ever go over there. Never go there. What? Oh my gosh. What? What's wrong? That was so scary. Lincoln, you look like you just saw a ghost. It was crazy. Did you see that, is George the ghost back? Whoa, look at this. What is it? We have ghosts in our house. It's already haunted. No, so. So there's these two swans there. Swans? Huge. And they're like white. And the one was just sitting there at the edge of the place, at the edge of the pond. And it started like getting its wings all big and like, ah! like angry at me. And then I ran around the whole park and then it started going on the water straight at me. Chasing you? Yeah, like chasing me. <laughs> and then I kept running and it was like getting closer and closer. It starts like flapping its wings and it's like, it's trying to fly. It's trying to fly and come and get me. And it's like going half. No, I'm serious. I'd never want to go back there again. Well, I would, we should go look at it. It's really pretty, but it did not like me. Aggressive, a bit aggressive. It was, it was actually really scary. Like it was chasing me. Blair. Yeah, that's the I second don't... scary thing that's happened while we visited this house. I hope you enjoyed that brief interruption. I was scared for Lincoln. Turns out it was just some birds. We are in the pool house. This is where we are going to be filming. And uh, somewhere over here we'll have like a table and we'll film, but there's a ceiling. It's gonna cut off right there. But then look at this. We've got an eight foot tall door. We decided to go with the eight feet tall. Thank you for all of your comments you and suggestions. We decided to save the money, like a lot of you suggested, and to get the eight foot tall versus the 10 foot tall. I think it was like a five or $6,000 savings. Plus we didn't put the window on this side. So we've got these big windows that are up here that were meant just to be seen from the exterior. But now with the eight foot tall right here and then those windows, imagine an 82 inch TV right there. All we need is a TV company to send us an 82 inch TV and then our dreams will all come. There's some more roof tiles. Oh what they're going to do next is start placing the roof tiles on there. They're heavy roof tiles. Okay, this room is the master bedroom and uh, we still have the large window here, but this is another one of those with the trusses, right? Yes, it was super flat and a little bit boring and they said, let's just raise it up. So I said, okay. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. It's so pretty. It I'm is really pretty. It. It's really nice. Yes, it still works. Zach, no issues happened here. We took all the kids home and we came back to the house and uh, we're doing something Lincoln said to clearly not do, come find the geese. I see it. <laughs> it is big. It's big. <laughs> is this thing really as big and mean and scary as he says? He said, do not go over here. So if something happens to us, it's completely, entirely our fault. Just don't hurt your pretty face. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think they think we have food. Oh yeah, it's coming. This is what Lincoln is scared about. Let's get a B-roll. Come on, focus, there we go. I think it is kind of mad at us. Well, it's just... It's, uh... What is that move? It's so strange. Okay, what's it gonna do? Hi, friends. Oh, um, shake it off, shake it off. Lincoln said to be scared of them. Are you gonna come see us? You don't look afraid. I'll just be friendly. If you're just friendly, they'll be friendly. Okay, show me. Come here, come see me. It's like a dog. Do you think this corn's okay well, for them to eat? Feed. I don't know, I wouldn't feed it to them. Here's some corn. Sorry, I hit him, I hit him. <laughs> oh, oh, friends, total friends now. Oh, babies, babies, so cute. I've never seen a baby swan. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to be nice. I'm throwing corn at the mama swan. I was trying to feed them. I didn't know they were so mad. Did you hear that noise? Okay. Oh. PETA is gonna hate us on this video. I was trying to be a nice mom. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> so mad.
<laughs> Let us know in the comments, is corn good or bad for swans? Get to cotton candy lane.